Hello, this is CJ Hoyle. Today is Sunday, January the 30th, 2021. And in this video, I'm gonna be riding my bike to the No Frills grocery store located at the Dufferin Mall here in Toronto. All right, so starting from Gwendolyn McEwen Park, located in the Annex neighborhood, I begin my way heading south on Walmer Road. And actually in the last video that I posted to YouTube, I was coming along this same road, although I was doing it wearing my cross country skis because two weeks ago tomorrow we received a fairly large dumping of snow, at least by Toronto standards. I think they said that there was about 35 centimeters that all sort of came in a, a short span of time, which meant that these roads had lots of snow on them and it meant I could take my skis out and go and explore my neighborhood a little bit in a different method of transportation than I usually use. But here I've now made it as far as Bluer, so I'll take a right turn and we'll take the Bluer bike lane over in the west direction towards where the Dufferin Mall is. And it's a vehicle blocking what, what narrow bike lane there is here. I actually have not been riding my bike an awful lot in the last two weeks since that snow came. Part of it's because I know that the bike lanes towards the beginning had not been very well plowed. Although I think a couple of days ago the city went around again and sort of cleaned them up, made them rideable for the most part, at least from what I've seen today and yesterday. Kind of unusual weather in Toronto, like I said, we got that fairly large dumping of snow. And typically when we get snow or we get cold weather, you know, we'll get some snow or ice that will form, but then we'll get a couple of days where it gets warm again and it will all go away. And then the next time that it snows or, you know, gets icy, it kind of starts all over again. But this time it's, aside from one, one day where it did get above freezing and there was a little bit of melting. Um, as far as I know, it stayed below freezing ever since then. So a lot of the snow that you can see here uh, is still left over from that. There have been a little bit of, you know, some smaller amounts of snow that have fallen since. All right, let's get in the bike lane here. I've not yet ridden this section since uh, the snow came, so don't really know what to expect. Not exactly the... Riding the bike lane is not quite as uh, great as it is the rest of the year. There's been a lot of criticism from the cycling community about how, you know, the vehicle lanes are plowed quite well. There doesn't seem to be any streets that aren't, haven't been plowed properly, but... There are plenty of examples where the bike lanes have not, and up until this sort of recent re replowing that they did a couple of days ago, uh, I don't think we would really would be able to ride where I am right now. Again, I don't have an awful lot of first-hand experience because I haven't really been riding my bike since the snow came. I'm fortunate to live within walking distance to most places that I like to visit, you know, like to do my shopping and get my food and usual supplies, but now that things are a little bit more clear, I decided it was time for me to venture out and head to the No Frills grocery store, which is a store where there are certain items that I like to stock up on as lower prices and some products that I can't get from my local grocery store and once again we've got a part where the bike lane it's almost like there's a car parked there because you have to go into the main traffic lane to be able to get to be able to continue so yeah I was out riding my bike a little bit yesterday but other than that it's I've stayed relatively close to home although I have in terms of recreation, I've been doing a fair bit of cross-country skiing, which has been nice.
I thought that maybe yesterday I would get out and do some skiing and make a video, but the snow really just wasn't the greatest yesterday. It was quite cold and I actually went skiing on Friday night in the evening and the snow was just very icy. We haven't really gotten any fresh snow in a couple of days now, so it's really just that same snow that's been sort of packed and it's, uh, you know, frozen and thawed and sort of gone through that cycle a couple of times, so it's not really what you want to be cross-country skiing on, ideally. I have done a fair bit of skiing in these last two weeks, like I said, but a lot of it's been in the evenings after dark where making a video is not really very feasible. So we're just at Shaw Street now, and this is where the Bluer bike lane used to terminate until the summer of 2020. So the route that I used to take to get to the Dufferin Mall prior to that point would have been to make a left turn here and head my way down Shaw Street. And then I would sort of connect up with some neighborhood streets, which would take me further in the west direction towards the Dufferin Mall. But with these bike lanes here, I now take the more direct route, which takes me closer to the Dufferin Mall before I get onto those neighborhood streets. And here we are at Ossington Avenue where I've got a red light to wait for. The temperature currently is about, I think about five degrees Celsius when I left. Yesterday it was down at, you know, around negative 13 or so when I was out on my bike, so this is actually quite comfortable. Temperatures I find are always sort of relative. Like I can remember when I used to, you know, ride my bike to work. This is actually when I was a student many years ago. I would sort of ride to work one day and it would be like negative 12 and one of my coworkers would say to me like, you rode today? Like, oh, that must have been so cold. And I was thinking, well, it was cold, but you know, a week ago it was negative 25. So after that, negative 12 doesn't seem cold anymore. So, so negative five actually feels quite warm today. But I do find that it actually sort of has to do with how long it's been since you've experienced it because, you know, each fall and beginning of winter when it starts to get colder, the first day you're out at like, you know, zero degrees Celsius, that always feels really cold because it's been a long time since you've experienced that. Or at least that's my experience anyway. So here we're just about at Dover Court, Dover Court Road, and it's a vehicle waiting to turn right here, and they just cut me off. That wasn't very considerate of them, or very safe. That's why you always have to be aware and paying attention and being a defensive rider, expecting somebody else not to follow the rules, and protecting yourself. So the Dufferin Mall, where the No Frills is, is located on Dufferin Street, but Dufferin Street's not a great street to, to ride on, so I always turn a little bit earlier before it. That's the next traffic light in the distance. So I'm actually gonna work my way out of the bike lane here and we're gonna proceed in the main traffic lane, lane once we get a green light here because I have to make a left turn and with the protected bike lane, it's you know a little bit harder to get out from there to make your left. Not only is there a concrete barrier, but there's also a big mound of snow on top of that concrete barrier. And yeah, here's Gladstone Avenue where I'll be able to make a left turn. A lot of these streets are one way through these neighborhoods, so you can't just turn 
left on any old street, you gotta find one that actually goes in the direction that you're trying to go. And Gladstone is one of those. Of course, when I come back, I'll have to come north on a different street. And this neighborhood that I'm riding through here, I guess is called Dufferin Grove. There's a park up ahead that we'll be riding right beside it, which is called Dufferin Grove Park. Actually, there's a trail which goes through it, which is straight ahead, but I'm actually gonna, we're gonna be making a right turn here. And we'll uh, head our way over to Dufferin Avenue. This is a stop sign there. And yeah, so straight ahead there is the Dufferin Mall, and there's a couple of different ways you can get inside or at least get to the no-frills. I prefer to park my bike in their underground parking lot. So I'll be making a left turn of this intersection, but you could also go straight ahead, you know, through the traffic light and go into the parking lot. And there is some outdoor bike parking, but I just seem to prefer the, the underground one. It's usually less crowded and it's a little bit easier to get to, less riding through sort of parking lot space. So I'll just wait my turn here to make a left onto Dufferin for a, just a short block. I'll be making a right hand turn almost immediately after I make this left. All right, so there's my green, so I wanna, I wanna get sort of into the right lane right away, so I'm gonna wait to turn until this black vehicle goes first. There we go, make my left turn. And then right up ahead here, I'll turn right and we'll go inside of the parking lot for the Dufferin Mall, right here, making a right-hand turn. There's a stop sign. I'm gonna make it left. And the entrance into the grocery store, as you can see, there's a big yellow painted wall of the parking garage straight ahead. It says no frills on it. Another stop sign and And there's the bike rack, which I like to use there. So I'll head on inside the store and grab my groceries. Well, the store seemed to be pretty busy today, but I managed to get all the groceries that I needed, and I've now got them loaded up on the back of my bike in the milk crate, and I'm ready to head back home. Hope you enjoyed joining me on this shopping trip bike ride today. If you watched all the way to the end of this video, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.